Hi, it's Bridget. I'm in my psychic minivan. <laughs> I channel anywhere. I'm on the go all the time, right? It's like the ice cream man, but I'm in the psychic minivan. Um, I am waiting for a game two of a soccer tournament to start for my daughter, and I thought I would just take a moment to do a video. I have been so bugged by energy from Michael Jackson recently. Um, a couple of days ago, I woke up with a very strong, kind of like a dream, but not. It's an in-between state. Oftentimes, you'll get information, intuitive hits, or connection right before you wake up. Like, it just happens kind of in the in-between state between in sleep and awake. That's really common, super common. It happens to a lot of people. And he popped into my mind, I distinctly, distinctly, Michael was saying, please talk to my daughter, please talk to my daughter. I'm like, okay. All right. And, he, and before that, he'd been coming in music and songs and showed up in the kitchen a couple times and I was doing some other channeling. And so... I thought, okay, all right, got to talk to his daughter. And I think it's a perfect time to do that, um, to do a video for Paris Jackson. Part of, I think, what he, what your dad, I'm going to say this in the way that as if Paris were listening, okay? And anybody who's listening, please open your hearts and bring supportive energy, nurturing, loving, supportive energy for her so that she can become the woman that she is, so that she she already has like this really strong presence and this determined energy about her. And so let's just uplift her. Let's give her strong woman vibes. Let's just wrap her in unconditional love from mother nurturing energy because she doesn't really have that. She hasn't had that from what I can feel. And her dad really wants her to feel that, to know that she is an incredible woman. And although she hasn't had really any women who are directly like a direct mother mother to her, that she, even though it feels like she might be missing that piece, that she within herself holds that. She totally holds divine feminine. And I feel like she's really into astrology. I don't know anything about you, Paris. I really don't know much about you, my dear. I know that you're a girl, you're a daughter, and I am a mama, and I have a daughter too. And so that is enough for me to connect. And I know your dad, and as a as a very talented spirit in the afterlife, and he's really persistent. Like he's got a lot to say, <laughs> and. Uh, he really loves you guys. He loves his kids so, so very much. And he would never wish any of the pain that, that has been caused to you guys on you. He would never have wanted that for you. And he loved you so much like you were his pride and joy. And I think you know that in your heart. But I want to share that with you because that's what he just emanates pride to me. Like my kids are like my greatest accomplishment. Look at how beautiful my daughter is. Look at how, and she's a beautiful person. He's like, she is a beautiful person. She's like this, and he compares you to a flower, but a strong flower, like beautiful, like kind of like a lotus is what it feels like. And he's like, she's going through a tough time. And I don't know if you are, maybe you are, I don't know, but you're going through a growth time or an opportunity for to change or transition. And it's a perfect time to reach out to you and share with you that your dad is like, you're like going through this transition time, but you will move through this <clears throat> and you will become stronger for it and you'll become better as a person and to who you are. And he's saying he doesn't want his shadow to overcast over you. Like he realizes he's like this big tree energetically and the shade that he casts over you keeps you from the sunlight. And the sunlight energy is really pure God, source, creator and universe energy. And that is the energy that you deserve and you desire and you need. To become more of your own person. And I feel like you're a strong person. To me, it feels like you're a strong girl. Man, you're like girl power, go, you know. I also feel like you're into astrology. Um, I feel like you are looking for the big questions, like the meaning of life kind of questions. I feel like you're super creative. Um, I feel like you have art, artist energy, artisan energy. I feel like um, you would probably feel more comfortable in Europe than you would in the United States. I feel like I could see you going on like a quest somewhere, um, like Nepal or climbing a mountain or doing something really, um, prof you know, profound that creates a lot of power and momentum for you. And I also could see you being really philanthropic, like going overseas and teaching at a school or doing something that like really... It's almost like how, like, you know, the Princess Diana vibes, like where she 
did a lot of work with like kids with AIDS and stuff and a lot of charity stuff and then her kids kind of do that now. That's the kind of vibe I get. Like you're that type of person that could really start something that could really support other people. I could see you getting involved in mental health issues and being an advocate for other people. I can see you working with people who have addiction and trying to get people off the streets and make better choices. I could see you doing a lot of stuff. And I can see you being an incredibly powerful woman, really inspiring, really motivating. And so be who you is, not who you ain't. That's the advice I would give you. Um, I had a mentor myself um, and when I was really spiritually connected, and I feel like you're definitely on a spiritual journey, my friend. Oh my goodness, girl, you are on a spiritual journey. And my um, one of my mentors... He's a Native American medicine man who he's now in heaven. And so I connect with him in the spirit, spirit plane. But he gave me the best advice. Be who you is, not who you ain't. So be really true to yourself. And do not feel like you have to live in your dad's legacy. And I know like your dad, he shares a lot about like he's really proud of you. But he's showing me the lotus like that you're in a transition time. And that he feels like he's a tree that gave you shade. Like maybe protected you guys too much. And he likes how close you are to Michael or to Prince Michael, to your older brother. And he specifically talks about that. Um, but he also says, you know, you get to be your own person. You get to make your own choices and you get to make your own mistakes too. You know, you're free to do that and to live your life the way that you feel, not in the legacy of your dad, but make your own way, make your own path. That's kind of what he's saying. And he's like, be strong. You're a strong woman. Um, don't fight against the current. Flow with the current is the energy he's telling me. So I can hear him singing to you. It's really kind of sweet, actually. It kind of feels emotional. Yeah. I can hear him singing to you. It kind of reminds me of the song. Okay, so there's a song that I that's coming um, that Michael did that was Man in the Mirror. I'm going to make a change for once in my life. I'm going to feel real good. I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to make it right. And that's the song that's coming forward, the man in the mirror. So, all right, Paris, maybe in some way you'll get this vibrational video, or maybe at the very least you'll get the support of the people who are watching, everybody who's watching. Post a comment in support of her. She doesn't need advice. Um, young people do not want that. They're not going to listen to us anyway. She's quite wise and she can make her own choices i am super i am super confident that she is competent to make her own choices okay but post a heart or post a rainbow or post a love or a hug or xoxo or some kind of symbol that brings a vibration of confidence into her heart space and activating that soul for her and acknowledging her light and and helping her to shine and, and do that for her, would you? I think that would be great because our vibration really can make a difference in the world. And um, there's a quote that comes forward for me right now that I remember because I, I shared it at my dad's funeral when I did his eulogy. Gosh, that was so long ago, like 12 years ago now. This summer it'll be 12 years. Oh my goodness, that's a long time ago. And it's a quote... Um, by JFK, I believe it was Jack Kennedy that said it. It was one of the Kennedys, could have been Robert, but I think it was Jack Kennedy. And it was, one person can make a difference, but everyone should try. Everyone should try. So this is Bridget. It's my pleasure to do this connection video. Again, I'm at a soccer tournament weekend with my daughter and Again, I, I literally got in the car to hit the highway to get here from the hotel to the field. The field's behind me. The girls are warming up now. And Michael Jackson's Beat It was on the, was on the radio. <laughs> like, really? It's not like that's a really trendy, popular song, but it was on the radio. And so I thought, okay, that's enough. I need to at least do a little video for that, for Paris and to help Michael connect with her. All right. Remember, at Above Life Channel, if you are watching this on Above Life Channel, know that the purpose is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope. And remember, remember, this is your life. So live it. Thanks for being here.